What's going on you guys? My name is Cole and welcome yourselves back to another video. So guys, today we have top 10 most expensive things in the world. Now I have a dolphin on my hat, so uh, yeah, I'm a pretty cool dude. And uh, yeah, let's just watch this fucking video. Fuck. The 1963 oh, Ferrari 250 GTO Racer is officially the world's most expensive car, having been sold for an astounding $52 million. The red competition car formerly million? owned by- Oh my god, 52 fucking million for our car! What is this shit made out of? Diamonds? How? How is this even possible? What the fuck is this? I, I get it, I get some cars are expensive. But $52 million expensive, where do we draw the fucking line? Has been purchased by an anonymous buyer in a private transaction. The price is a 49% increase compared to any other recorded auto sale. Classic cars, particularly- it, it doesn't even look that nice, bro, I'd la- uh, <laughs> I'd rather fucking have a Lamborghini than this shit. Like, I would save myself, what, $51 million if I just bought a Lambo versus this thing? What is wrong with people? Ferraris of the 50s and 60s are enjoying an increase in value year after year, making them the Mona Lisa of the auto world. Every great collector uh, has to have a GTO in their collection. not even that attractive looking of a car, it looks like a bug. Every great collector has to have a GTO in their collection nowadays if he truly wants to be referred to as great. The world's most expensive smartphone oh, no. cost a staggering $16.5 million. What? The gadget in question is a unique handcrafted piece. Yo, $16.5 million for, for iPhone? Why? Called the iPhone 5 Black Diamond Edition. The iPhone 5? Bruh, I have an iPhone 6. S right here and it's better than your fucking 16 million dollar phone it's it's faster it's it's bigger it's why would you waste that much money on a phone when next year the fucking model after is gonna be even better and you just it's oh i just don't get it the home button is a 26 carat black deep cut diamond oh while God. about 600 white diamonds cover up the chassis with 53 additional diamonds recreating the apple logo on the back the logo Logo's foundation is made out of solid gold, and the screen is layered with sapphire glass fully resistant to damage. The only flaw this luxurious creation has is the additional 23 grams it weighs. It's currently owned by a Chinese businessman. A business man? Man, a businessman. Dude, this is so girly though. What do his friends think of him? Oh, hey, how's it going there, Jimmy? Oh, yeah, is this Bobby the guy with the girly ass iPhone? Uh, it's not girly, it's fashionable. Yo, shut the fuck up. You wasted all your money on your goddamn iPhone. What is fucking wrong with you? I don't even want to be your friend anymore. Goodbye. But Jimmy, wait, I love you. The world's most expensive burger is a five ounce burger worth 332 thousand dollars bro 332 fucking thousand dollars for a cheeseburger dude cheeseburgers are my favorite food oh boy paying 332 thousand for it it has been produced by a dutch scientist and is made of cultivated beef made of stem cells this is the first time in history that lab grown meat is being offered for tasting dude that's freaking disgusting man i can just go to burger king and pay three dollars for a burger two times as delicious two times the size and save myself a third of a million dollars why are people so so crazy man what is wrong with you guys i mean not you guys watching this video i don't think you're if you're watching this video you're probably not buying a three hundred thirty two thousand dollar burger but come on the most expensive men's shoes in the world have been recently worn oh, by dude, this Nick guy Cannon. from uh, you might have seen America's him sport diamond encrusted shoes on america's got talent the shoes in question were created by Jason of Beverly Hills, a gemologist who decided to cover a pair of Tom Ford evening pumps for the special- Bro, he covered his entire shoes in diamonds? Why? I gotta hear how much this actually costs. Occasion of the show's finale. 14,000 round white diamonds of roughly 340 carats complete the shoes which were additionally layered with white gold. The pumps are worth about $2 million. 
Two million dollars? Why do I even ask anymore? That is so crazy, man. Yo, what's gonna happen if you accidentally scrape your shoe against something and one of the diamonds falls off? If I was with you, I'd be following your every step and making sure that if anything fell, it's going in my pocket and you are not knowing about it. Because you're dumb enough to buy shoes worth two million dollars in diamonds. You're dumb enough to lose one of those diamonds. Antimatter is matter with reversed electrical charge. Anti-electrons, called positrons, are like an electron but with a positive charge. Currently, technology is being explored to make antimatter carrying cases. Antimatter carrying cases? What? What? Who the fuck carries antimatter around with them casually? Oh uh, yeah, just chilling in the mall with my antimatter in my carrying case. Ha hashtag selfie antimatter. Ha ha. I'm telling you, it's people in the world. They're, they're insane. Using antimatter for medical purposes and making antimatter rockets is currently under consideration. The only problem is that it would cost one hundred billion dollars to create one milligram of antimatter. One hundred billion, bro. That's so much. That's so much. That's so much money, dude. I gotta poop my pants after that one. I literally, actually, that made me have to use the bathroom. Be right back. Oh my god, I can't. I can't even believe this. I just can't. All right, and we're back. So, um, I just, uh, st st <laughs> why? Why would you buy this? Seeing as it would cost far more energy to create antimatter than the energy one could get back from an antimatter reaction, the future of this research is quite shaky. A 405-foot Giga Yacht, designed and Whoa, built by Frank dude. Mulder of Mulder Design, that was bought by an anonymous- I really wish I had a boat, guys. I just love being on the water. I think it's awesome, like, inner tubing, jet skiing. I don't know, maybe you can inner tube and jet ski on this thing. For the staggering amount of $140 million. Uh, it was sold on eBay, uh, making it the most expensive thing eBay? ever sold online. Dude, where do you fucking pull $140 million out your ass, let alone on eBay? Jesus Christ, yeah. Yeah, just scroll through eBay. Hey, mom, can I buy this yacht for $140 million? Oh, of course, son. Why wouldn't you be able to? All right, thanks, mom. I love you. It's a built-in helicopter pad and is furnished with 10 multi-level suites offering panoramic views. Additionally, the yacht has eight guest cabins, a salon, a cinema. Whoa, dude, that is so dope. All right, I gotta say, I thought it was overpriced, but seeing this room makes me want this yacht so freaking bad. Imagine watching movies here. It's even got popcorn. What else could you possibly ask for? A fitness room and an office. Offering 12 rooms accompanied with 12 bathrooms. The Royal Penthouse Suite at the Hotel President Wilson in Geneva is the world's most expensive hotel suite at about $80,000 a night. $80,000 a night? Bro, this better include everything. It better have, like, hookers, cocaine, fucking, just... Uh, uh. With an amazing view to top it all off, the suite offers a luxurious experience I mean, that's equipped a nice with the view, finest designer but not furniture, $80, a piano, a pool table, a library, jacuzzi, amazing TV screens, a fireplace, conference room, and lavish dining area. Natalie Dillon is a 22-year-old graduate of women's oh studies Oh my from god. We're selling our virginities now? I honestly don't even want to hear this one, but let's- in San Diego, who has watching. decided to auction her virginity. With many revealing photos available online and being Googled quite often, Miss Dillon's virginity has peaked with a $3.7 million offer. This officially makes what? it the- Oh my god, $3.7 million for these titties? I mean, don't get me wrong, some nice ass titties, I gotta say, great titties. But come on guys, we don't need to be spending money for sex, just go out there and talk to women, they're not that mean, they're nice people, I'm sure that we can all get along and not pay $3.7 million to fuck each other. Nevada's Bunny Ranch brothel is conducting the notorious transaction, and Miss Dillon claims she doesn't at all find the stunt demeaning. Bro, I would get fucked in the ass by a black dude for $3.7 million. I don't care. If anyone calls you a whore for doing that, then you can just tell them to go fuck themselves because I just made $3.7 million for getting fucked in the ass. Jesus Christ! How many other feminists beg to differ? Ah, fucking feminists, man. Feminists are fucking insane, dude. Fucking crazy whack job pieces of- Ugh. Clover Holdings, a Caribbean- Look at this guy's hand. It looks like he's got a bunch of white pubic hair all over his veiny ass penis hand. Has bid $13 million for a domain name, sex.com. The sale hasn't oh. yet been made official as- 
I can see actually why someone might pay that much for that domain name. Um, but still, that's fucking retarded. 13 million for a website name. Come on, people. Do we really need porn that bad? Oh, uh, yeah, we do. Shut the fuck up, Cole. Okay, fine. You're probably right. It needs to be approved by the court. The domain name has a troubled past as it bankrupted the previous registrants, and this led to a long and tedious court battle. If the sale is finalized, it will be the largest ever domain sale. The previous owner... I wonder what song she's listening to. Marina Bay Sands Whoa, is the dude. world's most expensive that building, looks insane. being worth $4.7 billion. Okay, honestly, I can actually see how this one could be worth $4.7 billion, because that, that's probably the craziest building I've ever seen. What is this, a giant dildo holder? It looks like a house of cards with a giant schlong going across the top of it. The integrated resort fronting Marina Bay in Singapore is situated on 15.5 hectares of land that with a gross really floor area of 581,000 square meters. The property offers a luxurious Whoa, hotel. Dude, that is so fucking lit. Look at this. They've got a mall with an elevator and it's like fucking Venice where they're just going around on boats and canals. Oh Oh my god, this place is so freaking cool. Okay, I take it back. Totally worth the money. 100% worth and it. and exhibition facilities, theaters, retailers, and restaurants. The unique appearance of the wow, three hotel dude. towers were inspired by card decks and- And they've got lasers? It's like a freaking rave tower. One, two, three, go. The marvelous building is crowned by the Sand Sky Park, offering 360 degree views of Singapore's skyline. That's like so the Sky tall. Park. Dude, imagine if someone got super drunk and just fucking like dolphin dived off the side of this shit. Okay, don't do that. That's suicide. I don't recommend it. But I'm just saying, if it happened, it'd be pretty insane. Oh, hey there, Billy. Oh, uh, what's up? Uh, if you actually jump off the edge, there's gonna be a mini pool on the other side. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, you should totally do it. Uh, all right. I, I'm, uh, I'm so sorry. Um, Billy was a great person. You know, we all knew and loved him for what he was. Um, but he is no longer with us. Rest, rest in peace. Rest in peace, man. Well, there we go, guys. There was the top 10 most expensive things in the world. Make sure and check out the original video down in the description. And you can watch the full unedited video. Uh, I'd highly recommend it. If you guys would like us to do more top 10 videos, then do be sure and leave a like button on this one. Let's go and see if we can aim for 10 likes on this video. I know, that's crazy. 10, 10, 10 likes to top 10. This is so stunning. Uh, also, follow me on Twitter. The link is down in the description. And uh, yeah, other than that, I'm just going to go back to McDonald's and continue my normal life of buying off the uh, value menu. So, 